Now to our I-Team investigation, Killer Beats. Rap music videos about murders in Jacksonville fuel fire in the community. Mothers of the victims are speaking out saying the videos and lyrics have gone too far, giving specific details about the horrific crimes. I-Team investigator Corley Peel is joining us live to show us how this deadly music videos, how they are really damaging families, Corley. Well, Tarek and Stacy, many of these parents I've spoken with are still waiting for arrest or they're waiting for a trial for their son's murders. While they wait for justice, music videos from rival rap groups in Jacksonville have gained popularity across the country with songs glorifying their son's murders. The music and beat are catchy. Gaining millions of views and plays on YouTube and streaming services. Local rappers rising to fame with lyrics about murders of young men in Jacksonville. Okay, so and you know we smoke little baby bitch. The victims behind the lyrics are sons. What is it like when you see your son's name? and his murder talked about in these rap songs. It's like somebody taking an open wound or a healing wound and opening it back up and stabbing at it over and over again. I hope and, and, and pray that, you know, the person or the persons who are rapping about, you know, that they understand that you have a mom too. And would you want your mom to feel the way the other moms feel? JSO says the different rap groups known as ATK and KTA are rivals on the streets. ATK and KTA, those are the groups that we hear about a lot. Are they the biggest problem for Jacksonville? They have been recently, um, for the most part. In this music video. I the man in the green shirt is Kenyatta Bullard. He's known as rapper Young and Ace. He was a sole survivor in a deadly quadruple shooting at the town center in 2018. In the video, he wears an ATK chain around his neck. The lyrics reference three men killed in shootings. One of the victims, known as Bibby, is 16-year-old Adrian Gaynor. He was joy. All he did was laugh and dance. He was shot and killed in the Hilltop Village Apartments in 2019. Nobody can do anything worse to me than killing my child. It took two years for an arrest to be made. The man accused of killing him is Hakeem Robinson, known as rapper Queso. Robinson is charged with second degree murder. Gaynor's mother, Elizabeth Gaynor, says Robinson and other rappers continuously mocked her son's death in music videos and on social media for years. Now you know we smoke little baby. Specifically, what has been said about your son in these songs? I've heard anything from where he was shot, I've heard what his last words were. This is not the only murder Robinson is accused of. He is also charged with second degree murder in the 2020 death of Charles McCormick, a.k.a. rapper Little Buck. His father, Abdul Robinson Sr., and his brother, Abdul Robinson Jr., are also arrested in connection to the crime. JSO says the Robinsons are linked to the group ATK. JSO Chief of Investigations TK Waters says ATK is linked to more than a dozen murders and other crimes committed in response to perceived insults. It's a range of things. It could be drugs. It could be something as simple as me making a rap song about you and you don't like it. So one of your friends or one of your one of your associates says we need to get back and say and we're going to do something and they'll start a shooting war. Dominique Barner and Leroy Whitaker are also charged in connection to McCormick's murder. This surveillance video shows two suspects running through a backyard after the shooting. Investigators say they held a woman hostage before taking off. Akeem Robinson's attorney says ATK is a certified business, not a game. You can see ATK is listed here on Apple Music right underneath Queso songs. But if you look at the Life of ATK website, the front page says opening soon. The group KTA is also not shy about naming murder victims in its music videos. This video was made in response to the Who I Smoke video that is linked to ATK. Leaky got shot. What the hell? Fast face hot. Okay. 
One victim heard in KTA's songs is 30-year-old father of 12, Freddie Patterson, who was shot and killed in November 2020. His mother, Shantina Benton, says she doesn't know who the rappers are or why they would be talking about her son's death. I mean, it's not a funny thing that somebody's dead. Yeah, you know, somebody got killed. That's not funny. You know, they got loved ones, they got kids. The lyrics also reference Corbin Johnson. Corbin got kidnapped. They found his bones. He was right. Where's Corbin? He was 18. He was just a baby. Johnson's mother, Melissa Jackson, reported him missing in 2018. A year later, his remains were found in a wooded area. To this day, no arrests have been made. In my heart, I kind of feel like it's someone that he knew because Corbin wouldn't just leave with anyone. Corbin got kidnapped, lost, got his Okay. Despite the heartbreaking lyrics, Johnson's mother feels it could help police. I feel sorry for them, actually. Um, but for me, I want him to keep making the songs because you're going to say the right thing at the wrong time that's going to be specific to the details that we don't know about Corbin's, Corbin's murder. So keep, keep talking. Not all of the rappers in the videos are charged or suspected of crimes. I did reach out to several of the rappers and their attorneys to share their side of the story. None of them agreed to do an interview. Abdul Robinson Sr.'s attorney tells me that the songs are how the artists express themselves, and he says there is no proof that the rap groups are linked to the murders. Tarek and Stacy, we are continuing to follow these cases, and we will continue to keep you updated as soon as we learn more information. So, Corley, since they're giving a lot of details about the murders in the music videos, can't police arrest them? Tarek, actually, no. Right now, the music videos are merely describing crimes. They are not confessions. So, JSO says the lyrics alone are not a chargeable offense. We will explain why coming up in about the next 20 minutes on News for Jax at 6.